Chapter 8, Dragon Guard. He was Dragon Guard. Rayla's parents were also Dragon Guard. The Dragon Queen has not opened her eyes in 10 days. She's still alive then. Such a fake out. She lives and breathes, but she is not with us. Right. She's fine. Don't worry, Zim. She's your mother. Don't you want to see her? You're not ready yet. I understand. It's okay. We'll go in first. I'll be right back. That is a terrible idea. Just bring him. We know that Ezrin has some kind of dragon connection, like he was able to communicate with Zim that one time, and they haven't really touched on that since. This is where it happened, Callum. Where my parents ran away. I can't stop thinking about that moment, being here. It hurts. We still have to find out about that, right? Like what happened with her parents exactly. There's gotta be more to it. There's always more to it. The facial hair. I have mixed feelings. <laughs> Maybe you'll meet a nice uh, unicorn, huh? <laughs> All right, mountain. <laughs> Prepare to be dominated. Yeah, you show it, Soren. Show that mountain. He can't do magic, but I feel like he'll be all right. He's in good shape. Or not. Come on, Soren. What were all those workouts for? <laughs> True. Maybe I shouldn't have. That dragon that he tried to kill is lurking. In armor. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Soren? Oh. Is that you? <sighs> oh, what the heck? He just took a break to go on a ride? Soren is amazingly calm about being carried like that in the mouth of the dragon. Give me a second to catch my breath. <sighs> okay. We're all doomed. I'm so thrilled that he's joining the party. I feel like there's a lot that they could do with this. He's rallied the armies of four kingdoms. And it's not just that. We went to the Sun Elf place, and, and my dad, he stole some kind of horrible power. He's made an army of darkness, and he's leading them here for him, the Dragon Prince. Me and Soren are kindred spirits, not being able to remember any of the names of any of this stuff. I think out of all the cast, Soren is the one I want to hang out with the most. Like, if I was in this world, we'd hit all the hot spots: Coldwater Creek, Sunfire Place, Catalyst, Badger Lodge, Rayla's Bitter Village, Burberry Meadow, Noodleopia. We'd have a great time. Hey, uh... Ibis, was it? Can you teach me some airbending? I'll scout from the sky. Oh, good. Uh, how are you gonna do that? You don't have wings. Sorry, is that rude? Sorry. <laughs> do not worry. My ego is unharmed. <laughs> Thank God for that. Only a rare few can learn to do this. Manus, Fluma, Volantis, Mage Wings. Can Callum get that? That'd be crazy. You have got to teach me how to do that. Um, my apologies, but, but a human cannot. Fulman. Look, I've heard it before. There you go. I'm gonna need to learn all the magic I possibly can, so please. If I may offer instead some helpful advice. Leave. Uh, what? Run. Hide. Survive. Could probably survive better with wings. Leave. While you still can. Teach him the spell first. He could be a little more helpful. Well, did you get him to teach you any neat sky spells? Tornado punch, lightning lash, storm sneeze? No, but he taught me the spell of unsolicited advice and condescension. Every choice we've made so far has been to keep Zim safe, so maybe leaving is the right thing to do. Yeah, but wake up the Dragon Queen first. I'm not going with you. What? Dragon Guard? All of this happened because my parents ran away. So I'll have to stay and defend the Dragon Queen. I'll just be paying the price they should have paid a long time ago. Just remember me, okay? Yeah, that's not happening. I feel like the Dragon Queen will probably clear some of this up when she inevitably wakes up. Goodbye, Callum. Nah. Really, you have to let it go. If you think I can just let it go, then you don't know me at all. You never did. <gasps> well, that was dramatic. It's a moon opal. I wonder if it could... What really happened here? 
It wasn't what Rayla thinks, that's for sure. He just broke her necklace? The story of the Venta. I won't change my mind. No, no, no. I, I did a spell to see what happened back then. When Viren took the egg. What are you talking about? That's impossible. I used your necklace. That's them. My parents. Nice touch having Callum draw them. If there's any chance, we must stay and fight. Then stay and die. It's a pointless sacrifice. Wait! Can't you at least take it with you? And make myself a target? Are you mad? Did that guy just go ahead and like blame Rayla's parents later? Does that mean Virian killed Rayla's parents? Damn, Virian's pretty actually badass at physical combat. Look at this guy. Wait! You're a dark mage. You must know the magic that egg holds. It could be a powerful weapon. Damn, really his mom actually saved the Dragon Prince. Virian can't resist dark magic power. How Very insightful. I repay you? Ah. I have just the faith in mind. Coins? They fought. To the end. They might still be alive. We're here and Zim is alive. All because of them. And also there's a very cowardly elf somewhere out there in the world who lied about everything. What should I do? I don't know. Live your life. But it's your choice. No one else's. It's a great gift from Callum. I guess it was worth smashing the necklace. So we have a choice to make. We can try to take a stand here, or we can go on the run and protect Zim as long as we can. One question I have about this is what use is Zim really if not waking up the Dragon Queen? I mean, there is the idea that you can wait for him to grow up and be an ally, right? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter either way because Viren subverted the original plan. The original plan was to show the Dragon Prince to the Queen and that news would spread to Zadia and then that would end the conflict between humans and elves. But Viren has sort of seen to it that that's not going to happen anyway. In a way, Zim is not really as important to their, their goals anymore, at least immediately. Like, long term, I guess he is. But they sort of need a new direction right now, this crew. And the only thing I can think of is just battling Viren. But it seems a little bit too early to confront him head-on like that. So, uh, hi. Uh, I, I know I'm not really part of the group, but... No, you are. It took me a long time to understand who my dad really is. He's smart, and, and the way he talks, you, you really believe that he's a good person, that... That everything he does is to protect his family, his home, or, or all of humanity. Someone who wants you to do horrible things and convinces you that they're good? That's a villain. Speaking to the audience. It may seem hopeless, but, but our only chance is to fight him here. Whoa. The only way to stop this is to look evil in the face and say, no more. Damn. Soren, this is what I've been waiting for and talking about for so long. Soren having all these good qualities, but not having something meaningful to connect it with. It's really inspiring to see, because it's something I think about a lot. There's sort of a default view of the world that we start out with. There is a goodness in that, but then there are breakthroughs that happen when you make something more connected to your own personal vision and sort of strip away some of the facade elements of it. Slowly questioning things and replacing them with more robust views of those things, even if in many ways they're the same, you know what I mean? There's like a connectedness to the ideas that feels different than just ones that you are starting out with by default. And going through that process even though it's painful you end up with a more solid foundation for yourself and in troubled times you can sort of go back to that i feel like the lows of life get easier and easier to deal with just because you you sort of have a place that you've built for yourself because it's self-discovered and self-directed rather than just inherited and not really looked at critically. What makes me feel like Soren's intentions are really pure is that it's not something he's saying lightly like he's actually gonna risk his life for this i was wrong you are more than just a big dumb lump aren't you maybe a little more so we stay. All of us. We all agree? All right then. Bait's in. We fight. Wow. <gasps> nice! Now we're all united. All right, well, they got a stacked team now. With Amaya there and these dragons, they might be all right. Uh, looks like you have an elf friend now, too. We are not friends. She is my prisoner. That's not how it looks. I brought my city's forces. What's left of them? Oh, she brought an army. Ready to fight. Well, now we have a chance. Destroyed our home. Hell yeah. It's like the Rebel Alliance over here. We want to fight. Then we will need all the help we can get. Manus. Pluma. Volantis. Teach Callum the spell before you go. 
We're gonna find more help too. Big help. Wow. Dragon Prince over here. Dragon King. This is it, huh? Oh my god, I'm so pumped for the next episode. How can this guy got spared? Claudia too. I like how he's just wearing that white robe now. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so cool. They also have good home field advantage too, that mountain. Nice! That's how you set up a conflict. That's how you set up like a battle or an engagement. Because every element there is so cool. Both teams are so stacked. Like on the one hand, you got Sorin, you got Amaya, you got Rayla, you got Callum who can blow things, you got dragons, you got a Sunfire elf army, you got the Sunfire elf queen's sister herself who we've seen as a badass who can rival Amaya. You got the dragon queen who's gonna wake up probably. And you have whoever they're gonna recruit. And on the other side, you got Viren. <laughs> you got Viren, you got Aravos, and you got Claudia, and you got an army, obviously. Crazy. Crazy. I'm pumped, but also sad to watch the next episode, because that means waiting to see season four. You know that season three is going to end in some kind of cliffhanger. But we'll have to wait until the next episode to see how this plays out. I feel like we're not going to get the full thing in episode nine, but I'll be happy if we at least get some of this amazing battle that's about to begin. That'll be satisfying. But anyway, that's the end of episode eight. I'll see you next time for the season finale. Yeah.